A world where the NBA is unfucked. I don't know how to feel about such a landscape. It's great for the game, but bad for narratives. At least there'll be parody this time around. Nearly every team has hope! <laughs> Except for you, you're still building out of being fucked. You have permission to watch old-ass Vince Carter for the 10 minutes he plays a game. <laughs> you signed Jalen Brown to that? I thought you were supposed to fleece Billy King, not become him! Although I like the Kemba Walker signing, there's one problem. Who's gonna replace Al Horford? That told you who concusses himself on the roof of a bathroom? The age of the Russian is officially over. The new era will begin with the duo of a snake and an eternal shoulder chip. They've got some nice youth that the risk ends up backfiring, at least. It's interesting to see the Nets potentially not fucked. You lowballed the best player your organization ever had and replaced him with Terry Rozier. No contest on this fucking... They're... interesting. I don't know if they'll piece it together this year, but they could be something. Then you realize that Garpax is still involved in their executive branch and worried that they're still fucked. Are you still pining for the lost age of LeBron? Do you still lack an identity since he left? Yes, you're fucked. Now we will ask the greatest question of our time. Can you win in the NBA with mostly European players? Getting an elite talent like Luka Doncic helps. Freeing Porzingis from the clutches of hell is another. They even got Boban! Boban! That's gotta count for something, right? Nikola Jokic is the great everyman that the NBA needs. A man who proves that anybody can make it in the league. If you're over seven feet tall. All you can hope for is that last year wasn't a fluke and can get past the second round without an impressive flame out. I know you can do this, Jokic. I believe in you. Do you like the hamster wheel pistons? If we're lucky, you can make the playoffs and potentially extend that postseason loss streak to 18 games. Even D-Rose doesn't deserve that shit, man. Come on. Oh no, the Warriors have lost most of their magic and are scrambling to fix it. We are so saddened by this state of affairs. They're mortal now, which means no one is going to have any sympathy if they fall apart. Good. I don't know how one of the most unlikable teams in the NBA became even more unlikable, but the Rockets did it. Bringing in Triple Double Man and a blockbuster trade will add to that reputation. Two ISO heavy players with questions about defensive effort leading the team. Might have some potential to backfire. I'm just waiting for Daryl Morey to be Epstein by Chinese spies. You know it's gonna happen sometime. The team that has no luck will probably have no luck. Things will look good and then Oladipo will probably get struck by lightning in February. Team ends up losing in painful fashion in the playoffs. Wrong team, God. This karma was supposed to be for the Colts. With Kawhi and Paul George, there's a good chance you'll finally end that can't make it past the second round narrative. Just between you and I, do it quickly. All of those draft picks you gave up for PG-13 might turn you into the New Age Brooklyn Nets in four years. You better hope Kawhi likes it here or else you're toast. Behold the most overhyped team in the NBA. Lakers fans will bitch and moan about how they get no respect, but you traded everything for a guy who could be gone next offseason. All this while LeBron turns into one of the most hypocritical athletes in recent history. When did you become Lamau, man? Hope they pay as well as I think they do. Yes, and they signed Boogie Cousins. The basketball gods are cruel bastards who demand compensation. Who is the consolation prize for this injury? Dwight <laughs> The most relevant aspect of your organization was the old pyramid you used to play in. You need more time to build yourselves back up so enjoy the bottom of the west. Jimmy Buckets takes his cantankerous and hardworking ways to the land LeBron abandoned to the wastes. He gets a nice contract and some interesting pieces to work with. Knowing him though, he's going to eventually be unhappy here. How long does it take? Six months? You're gonna waste the Greek freak while he's here, aren't you? Look, I like your team. I think you have a chance to go far, but I keep feeling you're going to choke again. I don't know how, but you are. It's a Wisconsin tradition as old as drowning your misery in beer. Remember when people thought this team had promise? I think we all fucked up there. They threw money at Andrew Wiggins only for him to stall out and become a cap anchor. Can you guys please do something besides underachieve this year? Look at all this youth you've brought onto the team. We can only hope you don't waste it like you did the unibrow. Even then, Zion might be getting a head start in breaking the fan spirit with his knee starting the Greg Oden simulation. Please don't die. Let's put it this way. When you promise your fans Katie and Kyrie, you don't come back from the store with Julius Randall. You're even worse than fucked. You're as toxic and irrelevant as James Dolan's band. There is nothing but failure for Miles. They can't trade away CP3 because his contract is so awful. You're fucked until those draft picks from the Clippers come of age. See you in five to ten years. You're somehow not dead. Interesting. This will be good if you sneak in the playoffs and get your asses kicked again. And maybe Marco Fultz's shoulder won't die on us this time. The process is so far gone that this doesn't even feel like the same team. 
Despite being a strong group, why did they throw that much money for an aging Al Horford? All that money might have been able to buy Ben Simmons a jump shot. Maybe you'll keep a head coach for longer than a year this time. And maybe your owner won't be a useless asswipe. I apologize, that last one was unrealistic. Damian Lillard deserves a ring. He stayed loyal to Portland and they brought in the talented yet enigmatic Hassan Whiteside to replace Nurkic for the season. We can only hope there's a different ending this time around. Jazz has grown a bit outdated for Damian's tastes. Perplexing team indeed. They have promising youth, but then they throw a ton of money at Harrison Barnes, signifying they believe they're ready for a playoff push. Are you really ready, Kings? Really? Spurs, you're in hell. You're not great, you're not terrible, you're on the debilitating spin cycle of mediocrity. I bet you'll make the playoffs only to be smacked around. Or not care about the clock and just miss them entirely. Thank God you won that championship. Even with Kawhi Gone, I wouldn't have let you hear the end of it if you failed. Despite him leaving, Siakam and Van Vliet should take over nicely. Just don't think it's gonna be enough this time around. You know the rules, the Mormons can't have anything good in the basketball world. Even with the good team, a fan will say some stupid shit to a player and curse the franchise for yet another year. Sorry, Donovan Mitchell. They fired Ernie Grunfeld a decade too late. Am I supposed to be happy that you finally did? John Wall is being paid a shitload of money for the chance of never being the same player and Bradley Beal is on an island. This is your punt year. All you can do is pray that Wall returns to form in 2020. At least you have the capitals. Thus begins an interesting NBA season, but even then, the whole China chaos has me sour on it. You can't have your cake and eat it too, boys. You either allow your players and execs to speak out on issues, or you bow to the almighty will of China. Doing both isn't possible. It's taking away from the game. Stop that, please. Throws it into Leonard. That's it. It's over. The Raptors win. Yeah, There's a new a NBA... Oh, they call a foul. <laughs> Leonard saying the ball should go in as some of the fans now heading for the exits.